my loves welcome back to my channel as you guys can tell by the title of this video this is going to be a cancer reading for december 2020 however this is a timeless reading so if you're watching this outside of that time frame it's totally fine i still feel like you can find something enlightening and helpful for you while you're on your journey also this is for any cancer placement so sun moon rising venus north node you name it okay or you could just be curious um, also, if this video resonates with you, Cancer, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, I am going to play my singing bowl as usual to help us clear out any negativity and allow us to be open to receive any messages in this reading. Okay, Cancer, let's get into it. Um, so I'm going to be doing the readings a little bit different this time. So I'm going to do um, three advice cards or three lesson cards and then clarify it by um, tarot cards, okay? Um, I'm really big on 333 right now. Um, and that means um, giving encouragement um, and persevering, okay? So I want to give that to everybody that's watching, so I'm going to follow in that theme, okay? Um, so, we're going to do in the first position um, what you need to release cancer. In your second position, cancer, we're going to do um, what you're calling in. And in your third position, we're going to do your outcome, okay? Or your or your success, you could say cancer, okay? Um, let's see. So, let's start off. With uh, your first lesson card coming out, it's going to be happiness, okay? It says, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path, okay? Followed by the five of swords, okay? So, that's the energy you are releasing. I know you're thinking like, oh, that's interesting why I would release that. But with the five of swords coming out, Cancer, I feel like that you were very resentful, Um and I want to say it's in a romantic relationship. That's what came to mind when I first pulled all the cards. So I feel like that you are resentful about some past experiences, some past relationships. And I feel like it's in particular to one relationship. I feel like you being resentful how things ended between you and that person in that relationship made you very unhappy. So the opposite it made you very unhappy okay um and you are releasing that because you're realizing that being happy means that you're on the right path anything outside of that it's just it's not love for self or love for others okay so you're realizing it's no need for me to hang on to resentment about past experiences past relationships um because it's the past um and you're realizing that your happiness and self-love is worth more than you resenting someone else, okay? What are you calling in, Cancer? Interesting enough, blame, which reads, I accept responsibility for my well-being. And then clarifying that is the Three of Cups, which is interesting, okay, Cancer? So, I feel like what you're calling in or what your current energy is right now is that you're honestly taking responsibility for, like I said, your happiness. Um, also, you're taking responsibility of what role you played in that relationship working or not working out, I should say, um, because it seems like that it's ended. That's the energy I'm picking up. So you're taking responsibility for what role you have played in a particular relationship or just your past experiences, past relationships, okay? Um, and you're not interested in blaming anyone. You're saying, hey, this is the role that I play, which is very big of you, Cancer. Not a lot of people can do that. You are a very intuitive sign. You are very mothering. So that seems like something that you would be capable of doing, Cancer, okay? Um, clarifying that is the Three of Cups, like I said. So this just breathes Aquarius to me, okay? Maybe it's the purple. Also, Aquarius is really big on friendship, okay? This could be soul contracts. It could be love as well, too, but it's it's heavy friendship, okay? Um, it also represents third party in romance, okay? So that could have been something that was an issue for you 
um, in that bomb that you were in and that could have been why I'm picking up on such heavy resentment okay but I don't want to focus too much on that okay because this is what you're calling in um, so like I say you're calling in taking accountability and responsibility for your actions in that past relationship or just past experiences with the friendship card that's interesting to me Aquarius hmm I feel like you're finding unity and this could be with the same person because <laughs> the energy I'm picking up for it is it's interesting it, it seems a little bit like conflicted a little bit confused cancer um, so you could be wanting to express or have communication with that past person because this card could also represent active communication okay um so you could be wanting to communicate with that person and honestly express your role that you played in the bond okay some things that you could have done differently they could have done differently okay for the bond to work out um and also i feel like that you're learning the value of yourself also um you're finding the joy um, peace, happiness within yourself. You're learning how powerful you can be in a relationship, okay? Um, this is, like I said, friendship, Aquarius, but to me, heavy independency. So you're realizing how to be an actual individual, uh, actual individual cancer. I was going to call you Aquarius. Um, you're learning to be an individual and find joy, peace, and happiness within yourself, okay? Um, so it seems like that this relationship has been very transforming for you cancer very very transforming which is a beautiful thing because people are placed in our life to help us transform um to help us grow and per and progress cancer okay so when we don't progress and grow um and we kind of don't heal in those bonds or they're not healing and loving for us it's usually because we have outgrown that cycle um and Spirit is telling us that we probably need to separate ourselves from that bond because it's not helping us to evolve any longer, okay? And I feel like that you realize that, okay? I'm not sure who ended the bond, but I feel like that you are contemplating on whether you want to contact this person and take responsibility um, for the way things played out. Um, and not saying that you're putting a blame on yourself, but like I said, you're learning to let go of of resentment and you're allowing yourself to be open-minded and process things from a level head because we can always say oh that person did that that person did that but we always play a part okay we always so that's great that that's what you're calling in okay um which is very interesting karen so very interesting and then for your outcome is perseverance I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to and then being clarified, which I love this, the moon, which is your energy cancer. You are the moon. Okay. You are at home at the moon. Okay. And then followed by the wheel or the wheel of fortune. Okay. So cancer, what I take from that is that you, your outcome is you being your true self. So like I said, the, the, the bond you have with this person has been very transforming for you, okay? And it's allowed you to release a lot of hidden thoughts. Um, it helps you to not continue to be someone that was not your true self, okay? So you are really in your power, um, in your outcome, okay? And either that's the energy that you're in right now or that's what is coming for you in the future, okay? You'll become very balanced in your emotions, okay? Because you seem like you're a little conflicted in what you're calling in or your present energy. But in this one, it seems to be that you're very balanced, okay? Because you're in moon and moon is the cancer. So to me, when I have a card that shows up in the exact signs reading that represents that card in the actual tarot deck, it shows me that the sign is in their power, okay? Um, and they have really became aligned and balanced with who they were always called to be, which is beautiful. Um, 
and then followed by the wheel. So this shows me um, you have good fortune coming to you. Um, and also you have completed a cycle, a karmic cycle, okay? Now, when it comes to the past, like lover or the past person that you just got a relationship with, um, if it's not romantic, it's okay. Just take it how it resonates. It could be another bond. Um, it could be a karmic cycle that you ended and the both of you guys could start new again. That does happen. People change. Sometimes they don't, okay? So I feel like that that decision would rely on you, Cancer. Um, whatever choice you make, though, Cancer, I feel like it brings you a lot of joy and a lot of abundance and it ends karmic cycles for you, okay? So even if you start a new cycle with that old person, it seems like that it's going to bring you great abundance this time around because you're being very level-headed. You're communicating more. This is blue, so I take that as like the throat chakra. So you're being very vocal. You could have struggled with it, with um, with um actually uh, expressing yourself in the relationship before. And that could have been a little bit of why the relationship ended or it could have been the other person, okay? So this energy could be for you, Cancer, or it could be for the other person that you were involved in. Um, I do see possibly you guys reconnecting um, and you reaching out or it could be that person reaching out to you. Um, I'm not sure what you're going to choose, Cancer. I really, I don't feel the energy. I feel like it could go either way. Um, but I'm not picking up on anyone new, okay? Um, and I feel like that this is a romantic relationship. Um, let's see. I want to pull another card just, just so we can get a little bit more clarity. The next card um, for the lesson deck is Surrender. It says, I can release my need to control. We have at the bottom of the deck... If you can see it, my ring light is so bright, you guys. If you can see that, it's empathy. It says, I open, I am open to seeing both sides of the, of the situation. So, yeah, I think that this is a past person, okay? Um, and you, like I said, the relationship was very transforming. Um, it caused you to go within and honestly to find yourself, which is very beautiful, a very powerful bond that you guys had with each other. And this card sometimes can represent a soul contract. So you guys could have like a soul tie or be heavily tied to this person. And that's why it was so transforming for you. Whether it's long-term or short-term cancer, meaning whether the person is supposed to be there forever or just for a short period of time, it's definitely helped you um, become who you needed to become. It's definitely helped you See yourself in God's eyes, which is beautiful, okay? Um, sometimes our bonds can push us away from who we are who we are supposed to be. But it seemed like this, this bond, whether it was good or bad, helped you come into your true self, which is very beautiful. Um, but just me seeing that empathy, and I, op I am open to seeing both sides of the situation, it makes me feel like that you want to rekindle things um, with this person. And it's nothing wrong with that, okay? Um... So honestly, Cancer, I'm going to leave it right there. Hopefully this video resonated with you. If it did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? Um, and also, Cancer, if you have not heard this today, you are loved and you are cherished, okay? Until next time, bye-bye.